Hey guys, Pat here. Just wanted to bring to you guys today a little first impression on the TS Prof Cadet Pro. So this is the version T. So version T is, you know, kind of one of the original version of the Cadet, but uh, with the updated uh, system here on the back. So that little lever that uh, you can adjust with the wheels on it. So really good. So uh, really impressed with this system at first view. But let me talk about like my first impression, how I used it and you know what I did with it. So I have a couple of sharpening stones here, uh, just a repass and just uh, redid a little 3M, uh, you know, uh, just a lap and film and just put some mirror on a couple of my knife that I sharpened previously. So I um, ordered some app stone, uh, just blanks, uh, a little blank uh, aluminum, uh, you know, uh, just a uh, holder. So they have a 3M adhesive on it. So, uh, but it's just a basic blank. So uh, just an aluminum stone blank here. So uh, aluminum blank, I should say. So they has a 3M adhesive on it, but I just uh, stick the, uh, stick the already adhesive uh, lap and film on top of it. So, but yeah, so let me uh, just, uh, you know, my first impression of the system, very easy to set up. Like all you had to do is you don't even need screws. You got everything you can set up. Everything is just like pop in. So you got a little, let me zoom in on this here a little bit. So you got uh, your little screw here that you just, you know, put that rod together. The only adjustment I needed to make was for the rod here uh, for the uh, stone holder. So I just had to take that one and push it a little bit forward. So it is just the right tension on the, uh, the little spring in the back here. So, but that's pretty much the only thing I had to do uh, out of the box. So, uh, you know, everything else, it just puts on like super easy and it's just like minimal setup just the way I like it. You just flip this back here. You have a little dial in the back uh, that lets you uh, that lets you secure that in place here with a little lock and it's just super nice and just uh, you know real real nice system. So a uh, couple of things like it does a nice job at sharpening. Finding the angle I think is a little Eh, it's a little sketchy, you know, you have to uh, place a stone there, place it on here. You have to, you know, put your uh, little uh, level here and then you move that away and you put your uh, little angle finder here to determine your angle. So uh, it's not that bad, but it's something that, you know, you just need to uh, get used to it. So a little bit. Uh, and other than that, uh, it's a pretty good system. Uh, the flipping action here is pretty smooth. So just flipping that around is pretty smooth. Although I had an issue with mine that I almost wanted to return it because that little, uh, you know, that little knob in the center got de-adjusted a few times. And when I was flipping it, I could only flip it one way. So I could not flip it the other way and just flip it back. So I had to flip only this side and this side because it wouldn't allow me to flip back when I was closing it. It wouldn't it wouldn't close properly. So I'll show you guys how to adjust this. And TS Prof doesn't want you to play with it, but me out of the box, it had a little bit of issues and I had to uh, play with it. So listen, if you're having issues and you it doesn't want to close nice on one side, super simple. You just turn it back, take the knife off if you need to, turn it back. Uh, to decide that it's going to close and first of all don't spin it around a few times because trust me that's not not going to do anything if you spin it at some point it'll just get locked up and uh I'll, I'll explain a few things here so when it's in the lock position so this is locked so you undo this cap here which is very tight right now because i've tightened it up pretty good on there so you undo this cap here and this little threaded part, let me just try to zoom in here. That little threaded part there, right there, that little thing is free floating. So if it's not, if it, if it doesn't have any pressure like that, it's just gonna free float. So that's, that's just, it's, it, let's just say just uh, taking the cap off or put it back in is gonna be a pain. So on the lock position like that, you need to adjust this here, that little, uh, once you uh, readjust that, you just need to adjust it. So when you flip it back, it adjusts outwards and just uh, either you turn it cl clockwise or counterclockwise. And then you, when you flip it around and you flip it back, 
it adjusts and it matches perfectly. And you need that center screw. You need to, uh, if it works great out of box, I would just suggest locking it up, locking up the jaw uh, like that, the uh, pivot system. If it works great out of box, if you don't want to have any issue, just undo that cap while the mechanism is locked. Undo that cap and tighten this puppy up really good here. So I have my little screwdriver here and I'm just gonna tighten this thing up ever so slightly and do it from time to time. So uh, that way you just, uh, I have my little pick quick here. So a uh, red one uh, for all the hex sizes. And the hex size for this one is, do, 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 do. show you guys here real quick. 2.5, I think. Yep. Uh, is it? Uh, or 5.2. Uh, let me see now. It's this side. All right. Light shining good. 2.0, maybe? Yeah, I'll see that in the uh, camera afterwards. But yeah, so a uh, little hex there. And you just need to tighten it up and just get that cap back on there and the cap also needs to be tightened up because otherwise you're gonna have issues trust me uh, I don't know if some of you had issue in the past or if you get a new system a TS Prof Cadet and you're having issues that little center part here is just gonna give you headache and I thought I'd broken it I thought like it was not good anymore and it's just like now it just flips and you don't want the tension on that little lever here you don't want it to be too uh, too much. It's already matching up perfectly and it's not gonna move. So if you have too little tension It's not good, but you just need the right amount of tension If you have too much tension, then you have to struggle to pull this out and you have a sharp knife That's hanging just right in here. So if you have to pull it and put as much tension as let's say there's a knife here And then you're pulling on it real quick. You can see what happens. So uh, it's just something that you have to keep in mind. So don't just put enough tension so it's easy to unlock, but not too easy. And there's a little bit of tension going back and it's just going to be perfect. And this system has worked great ever since I did that. I just played with it a little bit and just had to figure it out by myself. I don't know if the instructions uh, mentioned anything in there about that center pivot, but that's my way to fix it. So uh, I just managed to uh, get it where it locks nice on both sides and it's the same, it's equal, and when you flip it and you turn it, now there's not any issue, so it's perfect both ways. So, just perfect like that. And as far as edges go, I mean, I've put a mirror polish on this edge here. I don't know how full you guys can see that, but yeah, I did put a little mirror polish. And this knife, I've wanted to be to sharpen this pretty good. So this is a Kershaw Emerson edition. So I don't remember the model of this one, but yeah, it's one of the big ones. So it's a uh, X large. I also have my daily carry here that I've put a mirror edge also. And this thing is so slicey thin that, yeah, you can see that mirror on there pretty nice and this thing is so thin that it's just slicing up so good so good so uh yeah these things all slice through paper and just do pretty much everything even like uh, ripping through um you know a uh, paper towel just shoop, straight down the middle and just going through paper towels and just uh, perfect i also tried uh, <laughs> Also tried to do uh, my Ontario knife uh, SP53, I think this one is, uh, no, 51, no, uh, yep, SP53 Bolo. And I managed to, mm, let's just say it's a lot of steel to remove, all right? So let's just say quarter inch thick uh, piece of steel uh, and trying to go like reprofiling at, I don't know, 19 degrees or something or 18.5 that I tried it originally. Let's just say it is sharp right now, but it, you know, I had to mess around with the angle a few times because I was getting nowhere fast. And even with a system like this with 150 grit, unless you go with something that's like 20 grit for a stone or like a 40 grits, you know, even under a hundred, like I would, I wouldn't need to, to say you need 40 or 60 grit or something really aggressive to be able to cut fast enough where it's not going to take you five hours and trust me i've spent two hours on this and you know i've i haven't even come close to reprofiling it so unless something like that you know less than an hour 
uh, you reprofiling to let's say 16 degrees per side or 15 degrees per side or 14 and a half degrees per side where, wherever the case may be uh, you're gonna be you know, you know you're gonna be able to do it much faster with a 150 grit stone like the TS Prof comes with so I don't have the stones here with me but let me just uh, get the stones here so the stones come in a little plastic uh you know cardboard holder and you have all the stones in there and it just a little cumbersome to get them out but uh you can see it starts at 150 goes to 220 and so forth so uh, this is a better uh better grit size to start with than let's say something like the workshop that starts at 220 which you can't really do any reprofiling on that you know it's it's a little bit harder to reprofile at uh, 220 versus uh versus uh 150 or 100 or so forth and so forth so uh hapstone their system starts at 80 which i think is perfect uh you know uh, i did order an 80 stones with it uh which i have right here and you know it fits on the system like butter the only difference is that the stones are thicker on the hap stone so much much thicker on the hap stones and this is the cnb 80. since i like to reprofile and change the profile in my knives and just put them like more obtuse let's say let's just say uh, 14 15 16 degrees under 20 for sure on most of my knives uh you know it's just it's just easier to do with a coarser grit and just moving your way up and just uh the only thing is the stone thickness difference let me show you guys the stone thickness difference between the hab stone and uh, this is the cnb start so this is the more aggressive one than the premium stone the premium stones are not as aggressive as the the starts so that's why i like to start over the more premium stone although if i had the alpha stone uh from ts prof the new ones so let me just show you here the thickness yeah you can see the thickness difference so uh, but you know what's fun about the ts prof versus something like the hap stone is it comes with a thickness compensator and it comes with a little ring on the back here that you can stop uh your stroke length and stuff so it's just a more complete system out of the box i think uh that you don't have to buy and buy and buy some add-ons uh right out of the box you got a sharpener that's complete and you're ready to go and you're ready to go to town and you know my first sharpening was without the uh, 80 cnb so it was just like with the railer ts prof and i think you can get like a couple hundred sharpenings out of these especially if you're staking to pocket knives and stuff I think you can get a couple hundred sharpenings out of these stones before you need to, to replace them and maybe more so uh it's just something to to note eventually you're gonna have to replace your stones uh because you know stones doesn't last uh, that that much forever so unfortunately uh they're not uh they're not invincible and they're not like lifetime stuff so that would be fun if they made some lifetime stones like uh, they're guaranteed to sharpen for a lifetime that would be amazing but yeah, so uh, you can see here my little uh, corner. So I got a little, um, you know, stubby for uh, removing the uh, that little, uh, you know, groove here, that little, uh, you know, uh, deploy uh, thumb stud thingy. So the thumb, thumb, thumb stud disc. So just a little, uh, you know, Phillips screwdriver, you just undo that. I got my pick quick here to adjust the, uh, the clamps. So it's just easier to just turn and twist this here versus uh going with the uh included hex that they have so just a lot easier and a lot faster i love the adjustability here on the uh, on the clamps just super nice and easy to adjust you just twist it and you just adjust it as narrow as you want but a nice addition that i will consider to get in the future would be the l clamps because with the l clamps you can basically transform this into a one clamp system so you just put them together and it just creates like uh, these are touching on each side and it's just like you have a one clamp that you can clamp on and you can clamp like knives easier for smaller knives and something like that's under three inches because right now with this one it fits in it fits in pretty good but uh having it closer meaning you can uh clamp on the uh on the flat part of the knife easier because the other the other clamp here almost uh gets out and it's not clamping on the uh 
you know it's clamping on this part here and on this part so it's floating that that part of the clamp is floating a little bit there so uh, the L uh, the L clamps like I hope they include in their premium system in the future those little L clamps just just add a little 20 bucks or something to the price of the sharpener because it's going to make a world of difference for people that have pocket knives and just sharpening uh, you know uh, larger knives even because you can flip those L clamps around and just extend it's just like uh, that that's that's a game changer that and their quick clamps that they have oh my god I would love to have those but I've looked at the price and it's like uh, I already spent a bunch of money on this and uh, you know some other stuff uh, some blanks and other stones and lapping films so my friend is uh, picking me up some diamond lapping films that I'm going to be able to play with. So, uh, yeah, so I got some of those as well and, you know, different uh, grit. And I got a four-pack that starts at 15 microns that goes to 0.5 microns, 0.2 or 3 microns, and 0.1 microns or something. So it's just uh, allowing you to put some crazy mirror edge on there. And it's just fun, you know, just uh, putting a mirror edge on is just... It's just a nice feeling. You're not doing it because of practical performance or maybe a little because it's kind of like stropping. So that that's my version of stropping with, with something like this. So uh, it's just it's just easier. So I might consider in the future to get a strop too, like a TS Prof or uh, you know other type of uh, letter strop that you can put some compounds on and you just put that on there and just go to town and just strop the, the edge. So... Um, or one or two of these and maybe order some more blanks because these things are, are pretty inexpensive for, for what they are. I think they're like less than 10 bucks for aluminum blank of, uh, you know, that you can put a lapping film or anything else you want on there. So pretty, pretty good deal. So I would say, but uh, yeah, so uh, nice little system needs a couple of add-ons if you really want to get that, uh, you know, mirror polish on there, but uh, really love this system as it is. And you know, I think it's especially on sale when it's 30% off. <laughs> it is an incredible deal. And for the machining and the quality and everything else, you can't go wrong. Like uh, I had a little issue, like I said in the beginning with that little center, center pivot, center locking, but I fixed it. And you know, if you guys want more info on this or, or anything, just uh, let me know. But uh, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is clamp it down at some point where it's clamping. You undo the cap and you just uh, start screwing it. Because if you're undoing the, uh, the cap while the clamp is, the, the clamping mechanism is, open then that little uh you know locking thing here is gonna spin freely and it's gonna be really hard to put the cap back on so yeah so it's just uh, just had a little mishap uh, in the beginning and just love the fact that you can hold it here and it just there's a little bit of resistance on the middle part i don't know if i can adjust that but there's a little bit of resistance here so when you're you know moving it back and forth you have to move it a little you know further because uh, when you're going to be sharpening, uh, this is going to get in the way and it's it's creating a little friction when it's rubbing on the side here. It's creating a little bit of friction like that. So uh, one thing that I saw from Hapstone that they have an amazing system on there is the magnetic ball. So the magnetic ball that they have on top would be like if TS Prof could come up with something like that, like a magnetic ball that you just put on top and that you could just like, uh, you know, put there and it's just like free floating and f going around, it would be like, you know, next level. So personally, so it's just something that, that, you know, I would like to see. But uh, other than that, like uh, this is a great, great little system. And, uh, you know, it is expensive. It's more expensive than a work chart, but you know what? At the price that this start with everything that you is included in there, versus a work sharp that's almost never on sale, like the, uh, you know, Elite Pro version uh, that's got the, uh, you know, little uh, dial-up meter and that little angle finder with it and everything else. This is better value in my opinion because you get more quality in the work sharp and it's almost the same price. Like when you're considering like, especially a cadet, a cadet on sale is gonna be like on Black Friday or something like that. It's gonna be less expensive. So that's why I chose this over a work sharp. I had the work sharp precision adjust, the first one. It was just giving me headaches because it wouldn't sharpen, you know, it, the stones are too thin, they're too small, they're not wide enough. It takes forever to sharpen on there. And I try I reprofile a few knives and it's like, oh man, it takes for 
forever. It works good, but it takes forever. So that's just my my little gripe on there. It's just it's just something that just takes too long to to sharpen. And you know, I like the adjustability. I like everything, how tight it fits. And it's just you, you can go from nine <laughs> nine degrees all the way to you know 22 25 degrees or something so this is crazy so uh you can get some really thin edges on there but mostly on kitchen knives because if you have a small knife like that and you're going and you're trying to clamp it in here and you're going at uh you know something like uh, you know nine degrees or ten degrees uh, first of all you're gonna have an edge that's not gonna be especially for a pocket knife that's not gonna be super tough so it's gonna slice good, but you know, only on small stuff like paper and something that uh, you, you, don't, you don't need to uh, to be too tough on. But uh, not only that, but it's gonna start hitting the clamp at some point. So if you have a shift knife or something that's longer, then you know the edge is gonna rest outwards a little bit more. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little bit more distance when you're getting in there and you're stroking it, and it's not gonna touch the. Uh, it's not going to touch the uh, the clamps there so it's it's uh, you know just something to note so if you want to go lower on the angle but you know 15 14 13 degrees is is pretty good so everybody has a TS prof every youtuber out there's got a TS prof and it's just like Mwah! just the best system you can purchase and just the quality the machining and everything else and I think the version T like uh, especially it's not black it's silver on black it's just like Mwah! just perfect easier to clean nice and just like just the bare steel that's polished and everything else it's just uh, it's just a you know nice little display piece also so I think it looks pretty good the black one too but the black one is like you know almost a hundred dollars more so for uh the anodize or you know the coating that they put on there so it's just like eh just give me the basic steel version it just it's the the exact same model it's the exact same thing and it works perfect so all right guys let me know what you think in the comments did you have any issue with that little center knob and the adjustment for the clamping system for the rotation system uh did you have any issue with the ts prof let me know in the comments let me know if you're thinking of getting this system and if you you know it, it's worth the money and yes it is worth the money and you know it's nice it's quality if you have less money then go with the cadet even the cadet is going to be better than a, you know a workshop or something like that so the equivalent of a workshop so uh, if I have a workshop precision adjust pro at some point like uh, the elite version or whatever like with the bigger stone and the adjustment system if workshops want to send one me uh, send it to me so for free like I'll review it but uh, you know uh, it, it's hard gonna it, it's gonna be hard to beat a system like that which is all steel which has like a nice heavy base and you don't need to clamp it necessarily uh, depending on which type of knife like this one even with this one like i had to put my hand down a little bit because of the weight and this is quarter inch thick steel and it's a 10 inch blade so you put that on there and it's going to be heavy but this this system held it and it just uh, managed to uh, you know do a good job even with the rod that's the standard length that comes with i had enough room i couldn't do the entire stone but I had enough room to basically go from one end to the other of the knife. So all I do is from time to time, I just switch to stone orientation. And, you know, after a little while, I just switch it. So it uses the stone more evenly and you just flip it. And it's like you get a brand new stone and a clean corner stone. So you just flip it and just, uh, you know, that way your stones are going to wear more evenly, especially if you're using the just to do the little stroke and you're not doing a full strike uh, full stroke and you're just using a little little stroke or a little you know you're, you're using the same part of stone over and over again uh, that's not good for the stone so they're not going to wear evenly and you're going to have like uh, it's going to make it a little bit difficult to, to sharpen after a while and your angles are not going to be uh, consistent so that's all i'm saying so but anyway guys let me know in the comments let me know if uh, this is a good system if you want to see some sharpening videos in the future and you know thumbs up is always appreciated 
I think I've made a you know pretty good deal on this purchase and uh, you know bought it from Amazon which is another massive selling point I don't see Workshop on Amazon in Canada at all so I see TS Prof I don't see Hapstone I don't see any other system except you know from from third party or Chinese or whatever manufacturers but this system is just like is a Cadillac of sharpening system and I really love it and you know I can't wait like I've been sharpening a few knives already and I've just been playing around with it and just sharpening knives and it's just I've been having fun and uh, you know it's it's a great system so I'm, I'm thinking like most of my knives here are just gonna you know just gonna switch angles and go to a lower angle and just uh, having fun putting mirror edges and everything on it so even might start sharpening knives and just uh, you know telling people like if you want me to sharpen your knife 10 bucks 15 bucks or something and i'll sharpen your knife so uh, i'll put a nice mirror edge and you know nice finish on it it'll be the sharpest you have ever had your knife in in your life so it's just it's just so crazy so and I love seeing that little reflection, that little mirror edge on there. It's just nice. And I love push button locks and access locks. And, you know, the, those fidgety, fidgety knives are just really fun. So uh, for my angle cube, I'm using a Neotech. So just got that on Amazon. It was on sale. Yeah, it's kind of so-so. So, -so. so uh, it works okay. But, uh, you know klein or any other angle cube will do so the, i don't know the axe cube how well it will work compared to this uh you know if it's something that's uh better in terms of uh, precision or stuff like that i think this will still do a good job so once you find your general angle that you want to sharpen you know you just put it on there and if i want to rematch my angle then I just put like the lightest strop and I just, or you know, the lightest stone, let's say the, the uh, thousand X stone. I'm just gonna put some Sharpie on there. Some, uh, you know, this is some dry erase marker that I got. And I don't know where I got those mini ones, but I really wanna find out where I got those mini ones and just buy a few more of these because these are dry erase and they're just perfect for sharpening. And you just uh, put, this, put this on your edge of your knife and you can find your angle pretty easily. And uh, you know, once you erase with the stone that, uh, that marker, you just golden and you just go back and just uh, you know, sharpen. So, well, I've been talking for almost 30 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, you know, <laughs> this little first impression of the TS Prof. I'm sorry you didn't see any, uh, any sharpening action, maybe for another video. But uh, as far as this system goes, gets a thumbs up for me and I hope it gets a thumbs up for you. So if you like this video, uh, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, plenty more videos coming up in the future on this system and lots of other things. So hope you guys enjoy and catch you guys on the next one.